so AJ, as you know, I have a day job, but I have this idea and I'm trying to start something on my own on the side. I'm not sure where to start, but my gut tells me I should register a company. What would you suggest? Really, that's always a good idea yeah. to, to start a company. However, having said that, I would strongly recommend that you also do a trademark search. A trademark search? How is that different from, from the company part? Yeah. The problem is that you've got different rights at play here. You've got a company act and you've got a trademark act. Yes. What, what happens is, if you go and file a company, then the company side of the Department of Trade and Industry have a database. Yes. And this database has got all the names on of existing companies. Yes. The problem is you also have a trademark of, of department with their own separate database. Yes. And these two databases don't speak to each other. Okay. So you're telling me I, I should have a look at the company database as well as the trademark database before I decide on my company name? Yes. And the reason being, Louis, is you can get into serious trouble if you file a company name yes. and someone else has already got a registered trademark in that class or services. Someone would need to do a proper trademark search for you to make sure that you are not potentially infringing on someone else's existing rights. So what's the kind of trouble that I could run into? It would probably happen by you receiving a letter of demand from a legal company stating that you have to cease and desist the use of that name because company X already have statutory rights or common law mm. rights. And that might mean you have to abandon your whole name which you have invested a lot of money in in terms of marketing yeah and and it's just goodwill that you, you build up scratch. during that side yeah and you have to start from scratch aj that sounds like excellent advice i'm so glad that i know an ip attorney like yourself that can help me with these kind of things even free of charge it's a pleasure Lou. just remember it for educational purposes fair enough fair enough aj wouldn't you say that all South African entrepreneurs can benefit from this kind of advice. Oh, definitely. And I think nice topics, Louis, could be, uh, as we said, to go in a little bit more about companies, what type of companies you can get, next logical steps. Everyone's so excited. You might have a unique product. Mm -hmm. You might talk about patents. Yes. You might talk about copyright, which a type of, 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 of uh, a right that is so easily confused. Um, and, and maybe the... The viewers out there can give us some advice or suggestions of, of what topics they feel as an up-and-coming entrepreneur they need advice on. Let's share this with South Africa. Yeah, let's do it. What are we going to call this thing? IP Bry. IP Bry. <laughs> Thanks for watching our very first episode at Happy Bry. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. It would be great to hear from you. And if you liked what you saw, hit subscribe now and you won't miss a thing. See you next time.